What's on today? We have... Uh, I was asking stuff. Steve. A more photogenic, Jake. <laughs> two installs, two backups. And dealing with this. All of the stuff. What's this? This. This is what happens when you have a full warehouse. And you can't get stuff in before you get stuff out. You have to bring everything out here first. Yep. Jake, have you seen the new Foxy Games episode? No. It's because it's not up yet, but it's about to be. Well, we'll hit refresh over and over. How's today been, Jake? Uh, it was a big day, but solid day. We've got two installs in a packer, although I only did the first two of those three things. Mm -hmm. And I've been in the office writing some articles for LinkedIn. And what do we got on tomorrow? Uh, at this stage, it's two installs, one pack up, I believe, possibly a second pack up. And we're heading down the coast? Yeah, down to Coomera. But, uh, I haven't been there, but I'm told it's a quite magnificent house on the water. We don't do many jobs down that way, do we? No, we've had a few down there. Um, I couldn't tell you the suburbs now, but we don't say no to that work. We just don't really go chasing it, given we've got a bit of a kind of south side of Brisbane specialty, and, and that's where the warehouse is, and it makes it easier to fit in more things in a day. But in this case, we thought it was a good opportunity and for a, an agent we've worked with before, and so we said yes. See that, we got great stuff. One done in record time. One down. <laughs> when we designed and built the business, built the business based on um, we did some property development and had those styled. We just didn't like how inflexible the whole industry was. Like they told you the date had to go and they told you the time, it had to be by their payment terms, etc. etc. We designed our business to address all of the issues we didn't like. One of those is flexibility and it's a really big point for, for agents and it's something we're able to do because we own our own stock. And our own truck driver, that makes a huge difference having our own logistics in-house. It's just that it makes it for a bit manic some days. So basically yesterday we went to do a quote for an agent who we're installing for already today. Turns out they bought photos forward to 2 p.m. So we've had to switch the entire day around, but that's okay. Um, just makes it for a bit more fun. Some days we get a phone call, like yesterday I got a phone call for another install for Thursday. Just makes it a bit crazy, but I'd rather be crazy busy than not busy at all. And the other job today also mm. has some time pressures too? Yes, yeah, so the one I found out, I emailed them last night just to let them know that we were going to show up a little bit later than they're expecting us, to which they responded, oh they have an uh, inspection booked, open for, open for inspection booked at 2 o'clock this afternoon. When we install, it's a little bit different to a lot of businesses in, uh, of styling businesses in Brisbane. We don't take a day or two, we only take two or three hours. We have the whole team that show up and we, we smash it out and we're all done. The real estate down the coast, they know this, so that's why they booked inspections. So that was all good. That totally makes sense. It's just that we've got additional time pressures today. So we've got an hour and uh, probably 15 minutes to smash out this one. So the whole team will be down there, um, all hands on deck. Tell us what you think, Steve. This is actually the winter rain. Carly Prons. And if you want to call it. Nice coastal blues. <laughs> you want to call that? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, it was, I was so sort of naked and was like, oh, oh my god, god, this is so beautiful. I do have you go down to that or two at, uh, at 2 o'clock. Hi guys, we've just done our uh, fourth episode of Foxy Life. Jump over and check it out on our Facebook. Um, have a watch, comment. Um, we ask a question on there. Uh, we will draw the winner next, next week. week. And you get these lamps. Postage paid. Oh yeah. <laughs> Time again of the week where I ask you guys the question which you have not prepared for. Um, Ali's ready. Yes, yeah, she's moist today. What's your approach to dealing with um, difficult clients? Uh, I'll difficult get the data. Oh, nice. we, we need to make sure that they have a positive experience with us so we don't want what well, could be a really great install they've had a great sale and then something goes wrong with the collection we don't want that last little bit or any of the experience to be tainted it's not it's not a customer's always right sort of focus but we will go out of our way to make sure that every experience is a positive one with us they're not going to go tell everybody about us without having a great experience with us i think it's just about having kind of respect for what the other person is or what their kind of point of view is where they're coming from so 
you know, it's easy for us. We, we do two installs a day sometimes. Um, so it's very easy for us who see it all the time to forget that the person on the other end often is selling their home for the first time in their life potentially. So, um, you know, not to get bogged down in what we're doing and, and kind of just taking a step back and remembering that that person needs a good experience and we need to kind of go through the same things that we would go through every day, but for them it's got to be special. Mm -hmm. So, um, I will also say, if there is truly a, somebody who is a real pain at, to work with, bad clients, like as a small business owner, we are of the opinion that we'll do everything we can to be respectful and make it work. If it truly just doesn't because the person has issues or they misunderstood what they're after or communication or whatever the issue is, we don't want to work with those people either. So we'll do everything we can, but then sometimes it might just mean that we don't work with that person. Have you had again. to say no to anyone yet? Or have you turned um, people away? We haven't turned clients away. We've had a couple of agents that we prefer not to work with again. Um, and so, to be honest, I think that that's probably the same from their point of view. Um, and, and we just don't don't work with them. So it's, a, it's not that we be rude or we kind of put anything out negative about them. We just don't go chasing that work again um, because we don't. We, we just we know that we um, there's enough agents out there that believe what we believe and. We're aligned in our, our values and we focus on those, those people. So we're at 4.42 on a Wednesday afternoon. Jake, it's been a pretty busy week. Thursday, tomorrow we've got another two installs. And maybe a, maybe a pack-up. Um, we did something that we don't usually do. We did a removal for somebody um, and we took their whole house out, stored it for a month. On Friday, we're going to take it all back over to their new place. So tomorrow afternoon, our job is to get it all back in the truck. So that's, that's good news for us. We'll get our some warehouse space. Back. Um, yeah, and then Friday I think there's another two installs. So a busy week. All done. Mm. And, and 4077 Parklands, one where we went and it was all beige, and then we switched to grey and turned there. After the fun first open. Wow, there you go. Yeah. Penthouse in, um, in the city, and agent is stoked. So that's awesome. And lots of feedback. Are you guys going to high five? High five. You can't. <laughs> 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 <laughs>